this druid is one of the last to survive the lumber mill and just listen to the character laugh here and what he tells him to do. He's like, just get out. Just jump out to safety. I guess he didn't want to call the suicide hotline because serial killers are working the phones. <laughs> If you're new to the English language, like I am sometimes, uh, if you want to learn the word persistence, you got to look it up under persistence, starts with a P, or you can look it up under this warrior, whose name I won't say, but you could easily see him. Yeah, here we go. It is the warrior versus Ivis, and Ivis wins, so in Rocky 1, Rocky did lose. Sorry I gave that away, but that was 40 years ago. <laughs> now, here we go. You think this guy wants a sequel? You bet he does. He wants another shot at the title. He's going to be coming back. This is the definition of persistence, folks. Here he goes. Same again. Going solo after after Ivis. No healer on board. Just him v. Ivis. So that's part two, the sequel. Of course, he wanted a third movie. He wanted a third try. So yeah, this is the definition of persistence. And guess who wins again? Yep, Ivis does win. This time, at least he brought some friends. So Ivis 3, Dumb Warrior 0. But did you expect any other outcome? Of course that's what the score is going to be. A good warlock usually tries to plot his escape, the great escape, with his gateway. He always props it down like I do here. But the problem is, is that warlocks kind of hit with the momentum of a truck going downhill with grease tires on steroids. I mean, they are hitting pretty damn strong. But when it comes to their mobility, well, that's a different story. They're kind of like a train trying to train off the tracks in sand. They're just not going anywhere. So that's why you kind of have to get the gateway down, which I do, and I use it to some degree of effectiveness. So I'm trying to get into the thick of things here so I could do my Destro Warlock stuff. Now I'm backing off a bit because they're kind of creeping up onto me. So here we go again. We're going to plan our escape because <laughs> you have to do that. So here we go. We pop another gateway, but watch what happens. Horde versus Lions, Alteric Valley. This is when Alteric Valley is a lot of fun. When you kind of get into these long skirmishes and it's basically a turtle. Of course, it sucks being on the wrong side of the turtle, but when you're a range player and you're on the right side of the turtle, it's, it's a lot, a lot of fun. So Blizzard did a great job revamping. Alteric Valley. Anyway, so I kind of overextended my portal, or my gateway, I should say, and now I got flanked from the left, and I am in serious trouble. I'm popping all kinds of defenses, trying to survive this. I'm getting some help from my teammates. So finally, I do the Void Elf portal, and Ivis comes to the rescue. Thank you, Ivis saves me, and now I'm with my boys, my troops. Thank you very much, Ivis. IOC, one of my favorite epic random battlegrounds, this one and Alteric Valley, because the Alliance has a shot at winning those two, so we're trying to break the wall by destroying the cannons, because that's how you break the wall, so yeah, just throw some plague up there, it's very green up there, so ugh, doesn't look healthy. Anyway, move over to the fire, but it doesn't burn me for some reason. Now, I'm going to go over, take a quick look at the refinery, make sure we have it, because that gives you reinforcements, and quite a few reinforcements, more so than AV does, so it's pretty important to have that. Here comes the siege engine to the rescue. He's going to break the wall. Watch this hunter. He jumps down, and he pops his guacamole bowl to help break some of the damage. Six seconds left. Now he's going to use the teleport to get back into the base, but he can't do that because he has to get rid of the guacamole bowl. He doesn't have his macro. Ring of Frost, big problems, and he's dead, and it's thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. You can't be in love with your guacamole bowl like that. You have to kind of disconnect it before you use the portal, folks. Eye of the Storm, the place where the most suicides occur in World of Warcraft, just simply because someone doesn't want to give up a killing blow. Now this hunter charges in, he decides, ah, bad idea, I better back off. Yeah, really bad idea, gotta go, oh, I'm dead, thanks for playing. So, of course, it's a big fight for mid because generally this is what happens. Demon Hunters try and try and try and not work and goes up, comes down dead. 0 for 2 there. And now the Paladin. Where's my bubble? Oh, yeah, it's on cooldown. That sucks. Now the Priest is showing up. Now watch what this Priest does. Well, he doesn't really do much. We get the flag, by the way. There's the Druid. He ninjas the flag. He's dear for him. He's off. He's going. Moving on. Now there's like 85 people on the Alliance side with heroism up at mid and... Uh, 
there's always somebody. There's always somebody. Now, look at that priest. Gets a really good shining force in. <laughs> Knocks a few people off. Of Fortunately, not me. But now it's time to do the kamikaze thing. And... No, you are not getting the killing blow. No one is getting a killing blow. The fall is getting the killing blow. Sorry, guys. That's the way it goes. For those of you who are paying attention, maybe you recall I said I hate Wintergrasp. <laughs> well, you're about to find out why. It's a long loading screen. Long loading screen. I mean, this loading screen, I should time it with a calendar. It's like, still loading, still loading. We'll get you to Wintergrasp. Don't worry. You'll enjoy your lag very soon. Coming soon to a battleground near you. So I finally kind of get myself into Wintergrasp, or eventually, sometime this century. And not only do I get into Wintergrasp, but I get into Wintergrasp where the Alliance is getting graveyard camped, and I just pop in there already dead. <laughs> it's like, boom, already dead. That is just brutal. Now look at the damage. In the top, like, 95 slots, the Alliance have three. Oh my god, yeah, this is why I hate Wintergrasp. It sucks for Alliance. Alliance just sucks in general. A lot of fun in the snow in this particular episode. So take a look at how many Horde are at Lumber Mill. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, eleven. Okay, so I can't count. Big deal. It happens sometimes. <laughs> Bottom line is 80% of the Horde team is at Lumber Mill. This is what infuriates me. Even though we're in the lead here, bottom line, we should be hitting another base because the simple math says there's three players at somewhere hiding at, two, at one other base, and chances are they're not even at that base. I just know how players are, okay? The fact of the matter is, the Horde suck at PvP. The good news for the Horde, the Alliance are much, much worse. So I'm dead. I'm waiting out my res. My instincts tell me, especially since this isn't regular... A Rathy Basin. This is the snow-based one, the blizzard one. Rathy Blizzard. So they can't see me coming. I have camo as a hunter, so I'm going right back to Lumber Mill. My guess is nobody wants to guard it. Everybody wants some action. Gotta get some action, so they gotta disappear. So I'm heading right back to Lumber Mill. Because that's what common sense tells me to do. I mean, watch what happens. Just just watch what happens. This is this is great. So I pop in my camo he can't see me coming the priest can't see me coming so the first thing we have to do freeze trap okay he's probably afk anyway explosive trap and there he goes <laughs> be sure to use levitate don't forget to use levitate so now guess what we cap lumber mill we cap lumber mill gotta love it you gotta love it it's that simple folks go where they're not not where they are i know I, at first i screwed up i went to where 15 of them were but hey we all make mistakes right Eye of the Storm, every elemental shaman's dream because it has storm in it, decide to go to mid because that's where elemental shaman go in Eye of the Storm and pretty much stay. Huge, huge fight for mid and the flag, obviously, because people love the flag in this battleground. It's like, I gotta get the flag. I gotta get the flag. Nice knockback. Gets a bunch of them. So I'm gonna head over and I'm gonna finish the job and I'm gonna get this rogue and this DK with a knockback. Now, he has his Icy Bound Fortitude, and if I'm not mistaken, it could be. Icy Bound Fortitude prevents knockbacks and uh, doesn't really work there. Get the priest. He's dead. So now we have a good shot at getting the flag, and I pop one of my slows over there and also my capacitor totem, so we're just going to keep them at bay. Here's Paladin, and yeah, he's got a, he's pretty smart. He had, his, he had his Blessing of Freedom up, but of course, I dispelled it. And now he's got the bubble. He loves his bubble. Paladins love bubble. That's their dream. That's their wonderful thing. Now watch this. My thunderstorm is on cooldown, but my haymaker isn't. And we just give him a nice punch to his falling death. And my flag carrier is off to the races. And that's the way it goes. Thank you, everyone, for watching. My name is Luxley. And as I often say, whatever it is by you, whether it is morning, afternoon, or night, do everything you can to make it epic.